This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. Michael Vick here at BetUS.com. Get it all. Huge bonuses, great odds, a race book, live in-game betting, and a casino. BetUS, my online sportsbook and casino. Lions fans, one pride family. I got a topic that I want to talk to you guys about today. Pretty serious topic. Pretty big one for me. Um, you know, I gave this guy a lot of flack when he came here. I had no belief in him whatsoever. I was a little rough on him. Had a lot of emotions going on because we had just lost our quarterback. And, you know, I said some things that I'm chewing on right now. And that's a good thing. I'm actually happy about that. Jared Goff. Jared Goff, after turning his team around, along with Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, after what we did last season, is still not getting the respect he deserves. I'm here to defend him. Let's talk about it. Jared Goff, Jared Goff, Jared Goff. You hear the chants. You hear all of the great things that Detroit Lions fans have to say about Jared Goff. The media has been a different story. They still will not give him his respect. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better season than he had last season. Um did everything that he was supposed to do, made the necessary adjustments, took us into the playoffs and made some real legit noise. Some very clutch performances from him. And we were right there from going to the Super Bowl. A couple of drop passes away from going to the Super Bowl. It's been tough to swallow that. But let's talk about Jared Goff a little bit. Me personally, I was one of the most rough, <laughs> rough individuals when it comes to Detroit uh, Lions content creators about Jared Goff when he got here. You know, a few things I'm gonna be changing up when it comes to Detroit Lions talking about channel. For one, I'm not gonna be engaging in the Jared Goff conversation anymore. I've said enough on that situation. The proof is in the pudding. And, you know, I'm going to let you guys get a chance to see for yourself until you're fed up. So I'm not going to be speaking on that as much. You know, me and a couple of my guys, uh, shout out to Easy. <laughs> uh, we were tough. We weren't trying to hear it. We've been there, done that. We've seen this all before. We've seen the Jared Goff, Goff go to a Super Bowl and not be able to produce anything. We seen a Lions team go up against Bill Belichick and not be able to do anything. So, you know, there's there's mixed feelings that's faintly still there. Um, but after what I seen last season, at the end of the season, in the title game, I seen growth. And one of the things is Jared Goff is still fairly young for a quarterback. Um, quarterbacks play for a long time in this league. They can definitely go well into their 40s. So, uh, Jared Goff has growth to still do. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to hear that. You know, I was going off of what happened with, you know, the Rams and you had the best running back and you had the best this and best that over there and they still couldn't get it done. And, you know, he has to win the Super Bowl to shut me up and, you know, all of these things, right? Well, I had to back off of that. 
because of circumstances, man. You know, like I said, he was a young quarterback literally just getting into this league. A lot of pressure on him. But not only that, teams did a masterful job against the Rams, you know. And, you know, he didn't get a fair shake because of that. And a lot of that is still going on. That taste is still in a lot of media's mouth. You know, I'm not going to get all into the stats year by year and all of that. I'm probably sure there's a lot of videos out there. But when you when you speak in the mind of a footballer, you know, which is obviously a lot of ex-players and a lot of footballers uh, when we talk about the media, um, this is solely about his past. And, you know, it's been bothering me because I'm seeing rankings with him outside of the top 10. Um, I seen one as low as 19, <laughs> which is absurd to me. Um, you know, 16, 13, you know, it's nowhere inside the top 10, which is absolutely comical to me and just flat out. I mean, just disrespectful. And do I like it? No, from a fan standpoint, absolutely not. But when you start to think about how the game operates and you start to think about, you know, some of the great ones, they drive off of things like that. So I'm going to say this to the media. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep motivating my quarterback. Keep motivating him to prove you wrong. I absolutely love it now that I think about it. Because it's fire. You're adding more fire to my team. You know, um, it's pretty much unanimous around the league about our offensive line. We even added more depth. Obviously more po firepower to the offense. JMO has just been absolutely amazing, which we're going to talk about too um, in a separate video. But the Lions, to me, are being looked at as a team right now that a lot of people expect us to get back to the Super Bowl. Uh, conversation immediately but I just know there's that thought of man it's really really hard to get back to where they just left and I know there's a lot of people who secretly secretly don't believe that we'll do it so you know you got to keep that chip on your shoulder and I'm probably sure these players don't want to taste what they tasted last season so that in itself is going to motivate this team to keep them focused. And, you know, we're in a unique situation right now where it's this honeymoon phase with the league where you have, you know, other fan bases outside of, the, of our division that's rooting for the Lions to be successful. Um, you know, you have fans all over, you know, all the way as far as, you know, the other side of the waters. So... You know, we're in that honeymoon phase. But eventually, if we continue to win, we continue to progress, if we eventually start winning the Super Bowls, then we become that villain. I'm probably sure a lot of you Lions fans, you know, uh, you're enjoying this, this time right now, but you'll give anything, anything for your team to win the Super Bowl. Especially after the long, long, long period of generations of failure that we've experienced, right? So, <laughs> it's um, it's all motivation. And I hope Jared Goff, you know, continues to grow and progress. This newfound chemistry with him and Jamison Williams has been great, man. It's been great. Uh, Jamison Williams, is, he's been... Fired up, man. Fired up in cap. He is ready to go. And I know Jared Goff is ready to go as well. Um, yeah, we got some work to do. We got some work to do. We got some some new opponents that's, you know, kind of on the rise. Uh, you know, the Bears with their new quarterback and, you know, the receiving core they got over there. We, we got some, some toughness here in our division between the Bears and the Packers. But I fully expect Jared Goff to lead us to another division title. 
I truly do believe that Jared Goff is the quarterback who can take us to the Super Bowl and win it. I truly do believe that. Simply because of the players that he has around him. So, just saying that is why I believe a lot of these people, let's just say people, uh, don't rank Jared Goff as a top five, and in some cases, top 10 quarterback. It's because of what he has around him. Best offensive line in football. That makes their quarterback a top 10 quarterback. Jared Goff in and of himself is not a top 10 quarterback. You know, it's always the what ifs, right? It's if this quarterback had this around him and that around him. Hell, I even said it before. If Matthew Stafford had this type of coaching staff, roster, ownership ordeal with Sheila, we, we may be having a different conversation. Yeah, I've been guilty of saying it. But I believe that's where it's at with these media personalities. It's simply because of what he has around him. And, you know, the fact that they are saying, hey, Jared Goff is not a guy that can win you a football game on his own. I'm not going to take away from a guy because of what he has around him. That's just not what I'm going to do. Because if I do that, then there are some great quarterbacks in NFL history that I might have to move back a few slots. So I'm not going to do that. That's not his fault. A team should be built properly around the quarterback. So I'm not going to put him on the scale and say, hey, he has everything. He has the best offensive line. That's why he's successful. You got to remember, man, this team, we listen. <laughs> This is this success is is has been short. It's not. I mean, he came here to a graveyard, man. He came here to a graveyard and he stuck with it and he continued to progress and grow and build connections with his his newfound uh, rookie talent that, you know, Brad Holmes went in and acquired. And now those guys we're talking about Pro Bowl guys, you know, what I'm saying all pro players. Jared Goff has to get credit for that. For raising up Amon Ross St. Brown. You have to give him credit for that, right? So, it's unfair to say just because he has everything else and he he's not the, the best gunslinger in the league or the fastest quarterback in the league that can just run all over the field that he's not top 10. I just don't like that. I don't like the notion, man. So um, I know you Lions fans have a lot to say about it. I'm looking forward to see the comment section in this video. This is going to be interesting. Uh, but, you know, with that said, I, I, man, this topic has just been something that's been bothering me over the summer. Reading a lot of these little stories and writings. <laughs> Um, and listening to podcasts and on TV, it's been bothering me a lot. So, leave it in the comment section and 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 give me everything. Give me everything. Are you still out on Jared Goff? For that that part of the crowd, are you still out on Jared Goff? <laughs> are you saying that you know this is only temporary? I would rather have somebody else. Do you not believe in him? You guys exist too. So we we have to get everyone's opinion. With that said, it's been fun having this conversation. I hope we don't have to revisit this no time soon. <laughs> and like I said, look out for that JMO video, man, because I got a lot to say. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Michael Vick here at BetUS.com. Get it all. Huge bonuses, great odds, a race book, live in-game betting, and a casino. BetUS, my online sports book and casino.